Hey guys, it's Ed Ebenezer again from Samani Enterprise Tutors and um, I hope you have been following our tutorial series. Um, if you have been, then well, well done. If you haven't and this is your first tutorial video, then you're highly welcomed. Um, today we are going to be looking at something quite different. Um, so during the week, I remembered um, about um, um, encryption and decryption, okay? so. I said I might not do a tutorial video on this in order to um, you know empower people that don't know how to now um over time there's this particular um cipher this particular encryption code called um Caesar cipher okay um, I think it was made by Caesar himself to you know, Caesar now how this worked was Caesar was able to send encrypted messages to his generals using this particular cipher and how did it work it worked that um um the message was sent and with what is called a shift key okay so the shift key would determine um how the messages were being sent uh, to his generals and how a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z now how this would work is if i send something like let's say attack okay tomorrow all right how see that cipher would and i sent this with a shift key with a shift key of um let's say five okay with the shift key of five how this will work is that um this a the letter a would have to be counted five steps ahead of itself so a would be one two three four five okay three four five and then this would be one two three four one two three four five so this would be f and then t will be counted five steps ahead one two three four five f y okay y a then c would be one two three four five okay so this was how it was being calculated and it depended on the shift key being sent so if i sent a shift key of three this would have the particular alphabet will have to be counted three down the line so that would be one two three so what if i did send something like z okay so z takes it all the way from here and then counts one two three and then depending on the shift key okay so um, we're going to be looking at how to create um, a, an encryption um, application an encryption and decryption application and this will be divided into two videos in the first video we are going to look at the encryption method and then in the last video we are going to look at the decryption method okay so now let's get straight down to business now without further ado i think the first thing we are going to be needing is to be needing a scanner class um which we are going to use to receive the input from the user so scanner is scanner system dot in okay now so the first thing we want to do is to receive okay is to prompt the user with a text okay and then we say uh, please enter message okay to be encrypted okay so we enter some we write something like this and then we're going to need a string and then we're going to say plain text let's just call it plain text because in encryption there's plain text and then there's cipher text now plain text is you know as plain as it is the message that's already been encrypted and is being sent okay so please enter message to be encrypted then we we'll say plain text is equals to a scanner okay dot next line all right and then we would say system dot out dot print line key to be what please enter shift key all right so let's call it shift key okay and then we need an integer called shift key and then here we are going to say that shift key will be equals to a scanner dot next int. Okay. Now in all this, we are going to have a method that would be public, public static, 
string because this will be returning the um, um, encrypted data or the cipher text now so we're going to say public static string um, cipher text okay and then this is going to take two arguments first it's going to take the string the message or we could call it plain text or message and then it's going to take an int which would be the shift key okay now it's going to take this two and then it's going to return the encrypted message so the first thing we're going to have is a final string variable okay now this will contain all right now before i go what i, th I think i should explain how the encrypted text will come about the text will come about with a formula like this okay to be equals to um um x plus shift key okay more 26 sorry and knowing that this mod is um this now this x signifies the alphabet okay so the cipher text x would be x plus the shift key mode 26 okay knowing that the alphabet are 26 in number so this is the formula that we're going to be using in order to get us the cipher text of a particular character now all right so one the character will be equals to this plus the shift key mode 26 because it can't be greater than 26 say we have w that signifies like um i think that should be around um 18 or 19 or so all right okay or z now z is 26 itself so if you add um 26 to 5 that's like 31 and there's no 31 when you now have a numerical value of the alphabet so it has to be within the range value of 26 so 31 more 26 the reminder we would look for that in a particular string of um alphabet okay so we're going to say final string alphabet okay is equals to here we're going to have the whole alphabet so we're going to have a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z okay z now having this this is going to represent the whole alphabet okay so we're going to be looking for when a particular character is being passed in the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to look for the character value is numerical value here using um the using the dot car as okay so we're going to look look for it here and then we're going to add five to it and then we're going to check if it is greater than 26 if it is then we're going to you know um do the mod and then find it back again in this i'm going to find it back in this um, um string okay now final string alphabet then we're going to now say message first we have to make everything lowercase okay so message is equal to message dot to lowercase all right now this transforms everything so even if there's a capital letter being passed into the message it transforms them all to lowercase okay so if you don't understand dot to lowercase i'm going to put it in a link below in this video and it's going to um, direct you to my it's lowercase um, to uppercase um, video where you can watch it and then have a, an overview or understand what the two lowercase is all about okay now having that to lowercase the next thing we're going to be having is a string builder object and then this string builder object is going to be called the cipher text okay and then i told you that it is better to use a, cipher, a, a string builder when you are not setting about the value of the string where you have to be adding values to you have to be appending or adding values to a particular string your best bet to be a string builder now string builder cipher text is equals to new string builder now everything in message okay so i don't have to look through everything in message so for okay in counter is equals to zero counter is less than message dot length okay so counter plus plus now if you look about that um 
a text or a string its index starts from zero okay and then this is saying the counter is less than the message dot length so the entire length of the message and then this increases counter by one all right so now i want us to cater for something should in case um the user input uh, what is not a numerical value say uh, what is not a, a an alphabet now i beg your pardon say the user enters um, an exclamation mark okay we should be able to cater for that and then append that same exclamation mark to the cipher text you know without losing the value so we're going to say if character does dot is letter okay so if it's a letter and then we're going to say message dot character at counter okay so if it's a letter now now i want to say if it is not remember one not operator so if it is not a letter so if the user did not impute a letter what i would like to do is to say cipher text dot append now i do not want to touch that i do not want to um, encrypt it i do not want to because it doesn't have a particular value in this string key that we are using okay so cipher text dot append it directly to the cipher text okay so that would be one so if it is not a letter meaning it so else meaning that this block will be executed once this is a letter okay so because of our not operator we are inversing this particular condition you now this condition says character dot okay? meaning if it is not a letter do this else do this okay so first of all we're going to need an integer that will be able to take or that will be able to give us the character position of the character in this particular key in this particular key okay so in character position now will be equals to alphabet now dot index of remember our index of index of um, message dot character at counter okay so what this does is um say um e say e was being entered so this is going to find what is the index of e here so here would be zero one two three four so e will be four right here and then another thing we want to do is to get the key value okay get the key value of the alphabet so the key value will be equals to you remember what i told you that we're going to be using x plus shift key so the key value would be character position now okay plus key that's been passed in okay modulo 26 now okay modulo 26 all right now that being said we are now going to have to get the character value okay so cipher cipher value now would be equals to alphabet dot character at the key value and then we are now going to say that cipher text dot append cipher value okay and then here i'm going to have a return statement return cipher text dot to string sorry return cipher text dot to, to string okay so let me explain this method very well now what happens here is this gets us the character position of the integer position of the character now being transformed so say i entered e so this character position will be zero one two three four so it will be four now four now this you know the formula we are using so character position which is x will now be four plus shift key which will be this mod 26 okay now the good thing is if it is not you know this mod gives us um, the remainder division the remainder division okay so that works and then the cipher value would now be this key value whatever is being gotten would now have to look for its position right here okay 
so this would be let's say e is four so let's say the shift key is five so that would be nine more twenty six okay so the cipher value will now be alphabet dot character at so nine more twenty six would be still nine yes would still be nine because um it's not 26 cannot go into 9 okay you can't find any 26 in 9 so that would still be 9 and then we'll now say the cipher value because to alphabet dot character at 9 okay so that would be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 which is j all right so e has been transformed to j so that goes to 1 2 3 one two three four five okay so then five will now be appended to the cipher text and after the whole loop looping through the whole message then we return our cipher text to the string okay now um so in order for us to test this we are just going to say system dot out dot printing and then we are going to say encrypted text Okay, and then we're going to add that to say, sorry, this should be ciphertext, ciphertext, or we call this encrypt text. Okay, so encrypt text, and then that takes in the method we're going to pass in the plain text as an argument and then we're going to pass in the key all right now that being said and done let's run this all right so enter text you've encrypted we attack are done. Oh, I'll stop that and rerun it. I wanted my first encryption to be very, very little. <laughs> so we attack at done. Okay, use the use. Okay, so let's check if that's correct. So W5 would be one, two, three, four, five, which is the B, and then we then we which is E would be one, two, three, four, five, J. And then remember this this is not a character, it's a white space. So here we did cater for it that if it is not a character, just append whatever it is at that character at that um, position to the cipher text. Okay. So in the next tutorial video, we're going to be dealing with our decrypt text uh, method and then uh, we're going to be moving from an encrypted text to the plain text okay so guys thank you for watching please do come back and watch some more and um and ensure that you do a lot of hands-on and it's going to help you um in no distant time i'm going to have um my github repository um updated with this particular code so do feel free to go there and carry the code and then put in your id and then tweak as much as you like and thank you for watching and god bless you